Now let's look at jQuery tooltips. So I've uh, selected an image that's 20 megabytes, 18.8 .8 megabytes, which is bigger than the 16 megabyte limit that I've set in my PHP and MySQL configuration. So if I drag and drop this, it takes a while to update the thumbnail. There it is. And if I go ahead and hit upload, I get a completed message, but uh, but it didn't actually complete. If I look at the console, I got a success callback, but uh, let's actually look at what I got back. So I'm going to put a breakpoint in my source. And in my file upload handler, I'm going to put a breakpoint on my success callback. And then I'm going to reload the file. And here's my callback. And if I look at the data variable, it sh you'll see that it's actually an object with an error property and there's a piece of text here. Now that's not what I usually get with a successful upload. So let's see what I get with a successful upload. So we put the breakpoint back in here and let me upload one that is smaller than the limit. And if I look at the data value here you'll see that it has an ID and then the ID of the image. So ID 23, that means poly1.png can be accessed as localhost. Fetch image ID 23. So that's the one I just uploaded. So not all of these successes are actually successes. So let's go ahead and check for that. So if data.error not equal equal undefined, that means something went wrong. And PHP is returning successfully, but it's returning an error message. else, then we really did get a success. So let's go ahead and set the status to fail and set the progress label to error. And now let's see what happens. So I'm going to upload both images and upload all files. So this one completed successfully. This one returned an error. Now I want to actually look at the error message. And uh, one way of doing that is to add a tooltip to this progress label so that when I hover over it, I get the actual error message itself. So let me go ahead and add a another method in my set progress label. This is going to be set progress tip. We call that tip. And the way tooltips work in jQuery UI is you set the title of the thing that you want to hover over. So progress label dot adder title is tip. And then in my file upload handler, in the 
error case, I'm going to ui.setProgressTip to be data.error. So this is all standard so far. This is not jQuery UI tooltip. This is just regular hover text. So error, if I hover over it, I see my error message, but it's not particularly pretty. So the first step is in my uploader.js, you basically tell the document to respond to tooltips. And now, if I reload and upload the doctor, now if I hover over it, I get a nice styled tooltip that matches my theme. But it's still just a blob of HTML. It's not actually formatting it as HTML. So to do that, I have to change a couple of settings on this tooltip. So first I want to set the items that this tooltip style are going to apply to. And I'm going to, what do I call that? Right click, inspect element. So this is the upload progress label. So dot upload progress label. And then I want content handler, which is just going to be the current objects title. And we want to return that. So there's the end of the property, and if I reload, remove the breakpoint, and now when I hover, I get formatted HTML. So I can basically put anything I want in that HTML. So let's go ahead and get rid of the debugger and run that again. So let's also go ahead and add a tooltip for an explicit error. So in this error callback, the status will be the type of error, and that's really all we have available. So let's just go ahead and say ui.setProgressTip data dot oops status and then we'll probably see some of these along the way but that should be it for now